Let me get a little bit more specific. So as I'm talking about numeracy, there's lots of different parts of numeracy that I want to sort of point out quickly. If we think about numeracy, in the research um, and, and the, in the national conversation, there's an interesting national conversation about numeracy that's going on, some of it which is not very positive. And in some ways they say, oh, all this reform act, you're dumbing kids down. It's all this fuzzy stuff going on. Well, that actually can be true. We can take the research that's out there, pardon me, and we can turn it into um, all strategies are equal, and, and we get really excited. Hey, kids can actually think about mathematics. They can actually create their own strategies to do stuff. That's really cool. What do I do now? Because we have, a, so we've gotten to the point where we give kids problems and we let them figure it out however they do. Well, what is a typical first strategy that a kid might use? Guess what? It's a counting strategy. And then we're like, okay, so it's really cool that they came up with their own strategy and they found the answer. And wow, that was really inefficient. It took you a long time. But I'm supposed to celebrate that you just did that. So, okay. And then we kind of leave kids wallowing in their own caveman-like strategies. Not what we want to do. What we want to do is nudge them towards more efficient strategies and more sophisticated strategies. Well, here's the problem. The research has not helped us there. The research has not helped us a lot to know what are the more sophisticated strategies and how do we help kids be that way. Middle school teachers, I guarantee you right now you're going, yeah, don't do that. They come to me and they don't know how to do things. And then I have to like teach them all over again stuff that they should have known already. And in a huge way, they're right. Now, I'm going to tweak what they say because what I want them to do is take the really good numeracy work that we do at the elementary and build on it instead of say, yeah, I've never seen that before, so I'm just going to teach you the standard algorithms. There's another way. And that's one of the ways that we, um, as, a, as an education community, have not helped the middle school teachers. We have not said to middle school teachers, hey, here's what's going on in the elementary realm. Here's what you can do to build on it. So middle school teachers get frustrated and go, I don't, I don't even know what that is. Quit counting. Stop it. Stop it. 58, 59, 67. Nah, I need you guys to, I know I need something better. And, but we haven't helped middle school teachers know what is, what is that better thing. How can I build on what they're doing instead of just cutting it and saying, let's do what I'm used to and what we used to memorize. And then that's not being very successful because if our kids aren't coming up to us when they hit the middle school with a lot of memory, then trying to build on memory that isn't there is not very helpful.